Hi, this is Corey Boudelier, the Executive Director of IndependentFilm.com, and we're here at the uh, Film Industry Mixer in Hartford. Uh, welcome, and again, uh, we'd like to welcome Melissa McKenzie, uh, who's from Maverick Entertainment. And what Maverick Entertainment does is they're a distribution company, and uh, you know a lot of emphasis is placed on production. And what I find is that a lot of filmmakers actually they spend so much time on the artistic that they actually forget to factor in the mm -hmm. distribution. Right. That there's a reason that it's called, uh, you know, the movie business. Or, uh, you know, I'll let you take it away. So talk mm -hmm. to me about Maverick. What's what's different about your distribution company? Well, we uh, work with a lot of first-time filmmakers, uh, and we actually kind of model ourselves as uh, the building, you know, a building block for a filmmaker so that they can get their film out on a national level. And hopefully, you know, they have their film, you know, in the traditional brick and mortar stores and they can use that as a building block for their next project. And we help a lot of filmmaker with the deli uh, a lot of filmmakers with the delivery process as far as learning how to deliver a film to a distributor because a lot of times if you work with the big studios like a Warner or um, you know any one of the bigger studios there if you don't know how to deliver your film as far as having the right paperwork the E&O insurance all of your legal documents they won't even talk to you you know, and, that, and that's hard for an independent, independent filmmaker because you don't think about those types of things. We also work with filmmakers as far as their marketing, um, the packaging on the film. You don't think about, oh, I, I'm shooting my film, but you don't think about, hey, I have to have a photographer on set because I need at least 300 photos of my, my crew, of my actors in order to be able to create key art. So a lot yeah. of filmmakers don't even do that, and you'll be very surprised when we get a film Filmmakers don't even think, oh, I forgot to have a photographer on set, and now I can't get these actors. So we work with a lot of first-time filmmakers and teaching them how to deliver a film yeah. and how to market a film. Well, having an on-set photographer is a great tip, and I know mm -hmm. a lot of people do that. Some people sacrifice it because there's a cost, yeah. or they have a friend who has a really kick-ass camera come on set. Yeah. And that's okay, too, but as long as it gets taken care of. Um, how about another tip? What it, for example, when a film comes to your desk and you're ready to distribute it, mm -hmm. um, you know, what sort of things do you add that they forgot to do, whether it be legal paperwork or, or, or fine-tuning the actual film? Well, how much, how many, how much cha change do you guys uh, incorporate? Well, um, we generally don't change as far as the, uh, the film is concerned. What we do, though, is, is work with them on uh, marketing their film, developing their selling points, and um, putting their whole package together. Mm -hmm. um, and again, making sure, um, I, can't, I know we, we talked about you know, delivery, but uh, making sure all of the legal paperwork is cleared. Um, a lot of times, uh, filmmakers forget to um, get the cast and crew memos uh, done, and they don't have the, um, the correct sign-offs. Uh, we've had instances where, you know, someone wasn't paid for music and then they come back later on because they see the film is on the sh store shelves of Blockbuster and you think, oh my gosh, it's on Blockbuster, it's everywhere, these people are making a million dollars and I wasn't paid. So you have to be sure that you have that, that correct yeah. paperwork in-house and signed and, and documented and stuff. It's very, very important on independent films. That sounds really boring to me. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah. sorry about that. <laughs> it is. That isn't. The, it's, it's exactly. That's why you say it's the business right. part. And that's because why you don't want to. Yeah, they stuff. don't. Because you know what? You're so focused on the creative aspect of your film, getting everything on on film. You know, you put your your heart and your soul into it, and um, you know, you think, gosh, this is great. And then now what? <laughs> Well, what it is now, it's delivery and it's marketing and getting the word out and working with a distributor that you trust, somebody who is established. We've been in business for 13 years. We've released over 500 films and worked with tons of first-time filmmakers, first, second time, third, fourth, until they don't call us back because they're working with big studios. Now, I happen to like brick-and-mortar stores. I still go mm -hmm. into Blockbuster. Yeah. There's, a, there's a very organic element to walking up and down the aisles and... and you know, choosing something for the night. Right. However, I'm also um, a Blockbuster subscriber, so mm -hmm. I get the DVDs in the mail. I can go into the store. I get both experiences. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of your distribution partners? Where does uh, you know where do where do these folks fit in? Amazon, Netflix, Blockbuster. Well, uh, traditionally the business has been uh, the brick and mortar DVD and Blockbuster, and Blockbuster's been in the news lately um, with uh, unfortunately their uh, per, you know intended bankruptcy and stuff. And the number of brick and mortar yeah. stores is really really going down. But what we've been working on in the past two years is the digital part, and that's kind of the new trend as far as uh, as far as where the whole industry is going. Such Who as are, such I, as 
iTunes. Okay. Yeah, we have our first couple of titles going on with iTunes. We've worked really hard in the last two years to make all of these relationships with all of these new companies. iTunes, Hulu, YouTube, uh, Cinema Now, Sonic, which is also a partner with Blockbuster Digital. So Blockbuster with the traditional um, brick and mortar stores going down, but they're really, really ramping up their digital side. Um, and also now the kiosk companies. You think about Redbox. Redbox is a really key player um, sure. now and has really almost single-handedly put the crunch on Blockbuster. They have 22,000 locations where Blockbuster in their heyday never had that many. They had maybe four or 5,000 and now they're down to under 3,000 stores. Right. So the potential now, if you can get your title into a Redbox, um, uh, Redbox as far as the kiosk companies, and then also with um, your digital companies, your Netflix. Netflix is really making um, waves now, and they've been in the news lately about their uh, VOD, video on demand. Mm -hmm. Now they're streaming. They've made relationships with Xbox and with PlayStation, and with now with the Wii, where people can just click a button, and boom, you can download a film from Netflix. So there's amazing opportunities now in the digital front. And this has all happened within the last six months yeah Xbox um, something happened with block is a blockbuster that's gonna do the Xbox I forget somebody well they're all somebody, somebody just made an announcement There's well a lot of announcements. Net Netflix is the one who just made the announcement with the Wii but they were one of the first ones to um, Wii. yeah to yeah, pioneer yeah they're the it's first amazing. ones to kind of pioneer and kind of get into that space where they hit the gaming community um, you know they uh, they uh, aligned with PlayStation and with the Xbox, and now Blockbuster is really kind of playing catch up to them at this particular point, and uh, you know they're they're trying to really survive. Well, thank you, Melissa. Great job, Maverick yeah, Entertainment. They do about 50 titles a year, uh, so look for their titles, and um, they do have some titles that have originated here in Connecticut. And if yeah. you get a chance to uh, to interact and introduce yourself to Melissa here at the Film Industry Mixer, thanks everyone, and uh, have a great show. And I just want to say, if you want some more information on us, it's uh, maverickentertainment.cc, www.maverickentertainment.cc. Thank you.